Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Now I thought I would just take a few minutes just to give you an update on some of the rolling stock that I've collected over the last few weeks. Um, there's a few wagons, a few coaches and a couple of locos. Um, so the first one is, I mentioned it in my last video, but here it is. It is 2277, the Collet Goods, which is now firmly bedded in on the layout. If I can focus the camera, there we go. It's a very, very lovely model, complete with um, Lake Crest on the tender. Um, so yeah, that's been, you know, hauling trains and stuff, as you'd expect a locomotive to do. <laughs> um, now, we're moving on, if I can focus it. Uh, we got this, uh, I think it's a Barkman insulated van. Um, I'll just check the box, yep. BR 10 ton insulated van in light blue and it is actually very nice hopefully um, quite soon I'll be treating this with a bit of weathering I think just dulling down that light blue will be quite nice and quite uh, good for it actually uh, to to look good on the new layout next year so or no sorry what am I saying this year um, <laughs> so yeah that's that's another new addition I purchased that at Max Tracks um, a few uh, my local model shop a few weeks ago, uh, just after Christmas. So yeah, that is a lovely, lovely model from Buckman. And then, moving on, I have purchased, finally, some new coaches. Now the first of which, they are they are all Collet coaches. As you can see, there's the other one there. And this one here is a BR Crimson and Cream one. Um, but it has been, as you will see if I can focus the camera. It has been weathered which is uh, very nice. Uh, W6608W and yeah th this is the brake so it looks quite nice in, in, in the rake. Um, yeah and hopefully the other collets that I'll show you in a moment will be getting the same treatment. Um, now if I just, I'll just, there we go. Yeah, so the other two are both maroon collets. Um, both, or I should mention, all of these three are from Barkman. Um, so yeah, this one is also very nice. There we go, focus. Um, so yeah, this is W547W. Uh, I don't know if that number means anything to anyone. <laughs> but um, no, this is a, a, another lovely coach um, from the Buckman Collet range and of course the other one which is a slightly older model here, if I can focus on the couplings there they probably won't be able to knowing me and focusing no. oh, I'll show you at the other end, it has the medium tension locks so it's a slightly older collet but it, it serves the same purpose and it looks looks great so that brings my uh, essentially another entire uh, rake of carriages into the fleet which is fantastic um, now moving on to other wagons I have purchased this Queen Mary brake van in southern region livery might repaint it into bauxite BR we'll see um, but otherwise it's a very very nice model and um, I've, I've been looking for one of these for quite a while now um, and that is from Buckman of course and this uh, Union Salt wagon is from Dapol, um, my first sort of Dapol wagon, and um, yeah, it's it's really nice actually, really nice. Some uh, great weathering on it under there with a bit of rust and things. So um, yeah, and then one which I purchased uh, the other day with the with the collets over there was this Barkman seven ton uh, seven plank wagon with. Um, coke uh, railings at the top there so that is also very nice um, and suitably to a western region layout as it has Reading gas company so you know who knows you may, may have seen it around um, and so I will cut the video now um, and I'll move on to the other locomotive which I did m did I mention it no probably not if you follow me on Facebook you will certainly know what I'm talking about but um, I'll cut to it now. And here's the other um, addition to the locomotive fleet. It is a Southern Region BR Early Crest N15 from Hornby, which quite a spontaneous purchase, I guess you could say, but 
it's um it's quite quite stunning uh, so uh can I focus on the cab detail in there it's absolutely excellent it's an incredible cab detail and a cream cab interior as well and I think the 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 green uh, variety really suits the model so that is I guess a few a bit a few bits of rolling stock that I've uh, purchased recently I've got some point work and flexi track ready for the new layout so things uh, will be coming in that regard pretty shortly the the fate of <laughs> Cruiseley Road as yet remains unknown uh, possibility of selling it possibility of dismantling it so I guess we'll see what happens but um thank you very much for watching guys please remember to like comment subscribe and um as always guys see you later